What's going on guys? Got a lot of questions about the back plate shooting. So we're gonna do a little bit of in-depth stuff for you. Fellas, this is not to take away your iron sights. It's not to replace your red dot. This is merely training for what I feel is the inevitability of being surprised. If you are a gunfighter or someone who carries a gun consistently, as much as we want to believe, we are going to see everything coming. It's just not reality. You can't be aware the entire time. You will get surprised and we have to be able to react to it. So all this is, is a little test to see where your natural point of aim is, your grip, your stance, your overall fundamentals. So as I get in this position, start it from the three, the five, the seven, it doesn't really matter. We're not gonna do it at 25, but it's really just superimposing this over top of the actual target. So what I'm doing is I'm staring here, mid thoracic, and I'm essentially putting this inside of my eye line, and I'm putting that just above where I want it to hit. So you're looking over here? Yep. I'm staring here knowing that this is higher than my bore. Mm -hmm. So now I know I'll be somewhere in here. So if I put this mid thoracic, all my shots, hopefully with windage will be in alignment. I don't want to drive one out and then I throw around up here or I throw one way down here. I have to be able to account for them, but something realistic. If I drive them out in between my two eyes, I drive it out right there. I should be relatively accurate. I mean, we can try to hit some smaller shots just to see, to kind of dial mm -hmm. it in, but slow controlled fire just to drive it out put it right in between your eyes cut your spine in half as you present it and pull the trigger straight to the rear don't deviate left right up or down and you'll be pretty accurate but the point of it is to get comfortable with driving this thing out and the confidence of having a full grip the trigger prep the trigger reset all the fundamentals are in alignment and when that thread is charging you or it's oh my god i don't even have time I don't have time to do anything but drive this thing out and break a shot. You should feel comfortable throwing it down center mass and not winging one off to the sides because inside of 21 feet, you don't have a lot of time. You damn sure do not have enough time to try to acquire a red dot, try to level front sight focus. You just, you don't. There's, there's so much happening inside of that gap that you have to be comfortable and you have to be familiar with driving it out and feeling it. So. Set it up for three, five. I mean, you can start close, guys. You, you wanna go ahead and go loud? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. There might be a break in the audio, guys. I'm gonna try not to talk too fast, but I mean, we can start close, man. I mean, I don't, I don't know what that is. Three? Maybe three yards. Three yards? So, normal ball, but what I'm doing is I'm driving it out into my center line. Uh -huh. I'm resting this about right there. So I don't wanna aim small, miss small. I wanna keep it in between his shoulder blades and try to drive it out and keep it as flat as possible. Trigger straight to the rear. So rest, rest the top of your red dot. Yep, top of the red dot. Somewhere, right like there. collarbone level. And now I know I'll be underneath it. All right, here we go. So we'll go nice and easy. It's gonna level it out in the center, in between your two eyes, and just see where it goes, where the natural point aim is. If it's way off, we kind of just correct for it. First one being kind of for windage, but we want it in alignment. So we drive it out in between our eyes, we prep the trigger. <laughs> 